Paolo and Benita were starting to plan their wedding, but they couldn't find a priest willing to marry two divorcees in the Catholic Church. So Paolo told her he'd pay a visit to the Vatican to use his personal connection to the Pope to see what he could do. He finally calls me and he says, they took me in to meet Francis and then he said, and he said he can help us. And then he said, but, and there's this long silence on the phone, I said, but what? He said, he offered to marry us himself. And I said, oh, the Pope doesn't marry people. No, I'm serious. He wants to marry us because we're both divorcees. He thinks we're the perfect poster couple to push forward his forward-thinking agenda to change the Catholic Church. And I got so mad. I said, I, I'm going to talk to you later. And I hung up. Everybody thought it was a joke. I was like, are you kidding me? I said, that's nuts. You're not even Catholic. Last I checked, I don't think divorced people get remarried in the Catholic Church. I don't know. I got on the computer and Googled, like, does the Pope marry people? But the thing is, what popped up was the Pope had just married a whole bunch of couples at the Vatican. Pope Francis has married 20 new couples. Some of whom had been living in sin. So I looked at that and I thought, OK, well, maybe it's not completely out of the question. <laughs> No, 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 I'm not joking. We're getting married by the Pope. You, Papa! <laughs> From that moment on, I felt like my head was spinning, and it didn't stop spinning. The dress that I picked was kind of sexy, and I thought, I, I can't wear that in front of the Pope, you know? So I go back to the dress shop, but I, I said, is there any way you can put me in touch with the dress designer? I got a call and it was a salon of ours that we work with, and she said she had a really high-profile client. So I took a couple friends with me and my daughter, and I was videotaping the meeting. I thought, you know, if this is really happening, I'm gonna start documenting all this stuff. <laughs> I knew that it was imperative that it, it be kept quiet. So I had everybody sign a non-disclosure agreement. Basically, you sign to not tell anybody anything. Zip it, lock it, put it in your pocket. Is there going to be a lot of Italian family there? Are they very, like, traditional? Is... Ready? Let me tell you. You should probably just let me tell you everything. Yeah, okay. go ahead. Um, he starts asking me questions. <laughs> You know, I explained who Paolo was, and then I dropped the bomb that the Pope is marrying us. Uh, yes, we're getting married by the Pope. Oh, my God. Yeah, I literally was like, oh, my God. I couldn't believe it. I literally sat there. I think I was in shock the whole time. And then it just starts sinking in. And I was like, OK, this is a really big deal. This is not a joke. Because you better start deciding that. <laughs> Pressure was on. I mean, it was on pressure, it was definitely on. So this is that lace, which I love. Is it a ball gown? Is it a trumpet? We're going to show off your curves. What is the Pope going to want? Because I really like to show curves like Marilyn Monroe, right? And I'm thinking, is he going to go, whoa? Yeah. <laughs> Paolo claimed that the Vatican had offered us the Pope's summer residence, which is in a, a small, beautiful, romantic town called Castel Gandolfo. It's about a 40-minute drive outside of Rome. He said he had secured a castle, and that's where everybody was staying. It made perfect sense in the scheme of the whole Prince Charming thing that we would stay in a castle. He would reveal the surprises to me sort of slowly, one by one. The very first thing he told me was that Andrea Bocelli was going to be singing in the church. I was like, wow, really? She, she said, he said that his mother and Andrea Bocelli's mother knew each other because they were from the same town in Italy. And then he added that John Legend was going to be playing during the ceremony. I had just read that you can actually pay John Legend to perform at a private party. Surgeons are known to have money, so I would think, OK. Then it was Elton John. I mean, the guest list just kept growing and growing. The Beckhams, the Obamas. The Clintons. The Clintons. For some reason, Russell Crowe was on the list. So the invitation came wrapped in a lambskin envelope. 
and it was really fancy with gold lettering and embossed. It's very extravagant. I don't know if you've ever priced out invitations. Very expensive. The wedding wasn't just one and done. It was going to be a full four-day affair, and that meant Benita needed four beautiful gowns. Isn't it incredible that uh, next week we are to visit uh, the place where we will marry? <laughs> So he wanted this very elaborate wedding dance, and it was going to culminate in me coming out in this ball gown. But he wanted the skirt to come off, and so she could show off, like, you know, her moves. He was just going to grab her, pull her in, and then rip. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> He told me that he wanted to play piano for me at the wedding. And that he had played piano as a child, but he wanted to relearn the piano. My daughter was playing violin at the time, so he'd be there playing the piano, she'd be there playing the violin. It was actually lovely. But while the wedding prep was kicking into high gear, Benita said Paolo was becoming increasingly tense about work. November of 2014, we had a trip planned to California to spend Thanksgiving with my family. And he had been really stressed in the weeks before. He had been talking to me for some time about how there were people that were against him and his enemies. And one morning, she woke up and read in the New York Times that colleagues at the Karolinska Institute were accusing him of scientific misconduct. It gets a lot of press coverage. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? Why didn't you tell me? Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.